Hi guys, welcome to the video. In this tutorial, we'll be creating makeup effects in Photoshop using contour shaping techniques. So to start off with, what I have here is a photo and this lady doesn't have any um, stylized makeup or anything on. And what we're going to do is we're going to define the face using traditional makeup techniques for shaping the various areas. So this is the original uh, without any of the processing. And then this is what we're going to achieve, uh, a subtle uh, evening effect and picking out the highlights of the shadows and accentuating details of the face. So that's what we're going to do and here are the steps to do it. First off, what you'd like to do is create a layer group. You can use the shortcut command in G for that. So we have a layer group and what we want to do is create a new layer and it's a shortcut for that as well. Uh, command shift and N and then hit enter and you have a new layer. Now with this new layer, change that to multiply and you need to hit B for brush. At this stage, what we want to do is we want to get darkish beiges, uh, browns and highlight certain areas of the face. So I have the brush active, hit B for that and I'm using a Wacom but I've done this same technique using a mouse as well. So I've got the Wacom and at the top here you can notice um, we've got uh, pressure sensitive controls on. So that's for opacity and that's for size. And they're the only settings that we have and it's a soft edge brush. And what we're going to do is we've got that on multiply, new layer inside a layer group and we're just going to mimic the reference images that we have there. I'll link to these um, articles for the reference images in the Surreal PSD article where this will be posted. So very rough, it doesn't have to be perfect because these will be blurred later on. So that's one. And we're going to create another layer. We're going to change that to multiply. And we're going to capture the bottom side, the underside of the chin. We're just going to go across here, just painting that in. And it's rough because we're going to be blurring these elements it doesn't have to be perfect again another layer this time i clicked on the new layer button at the bottom of the layer stack and we're going to get these areas of the eyes go over like that and follow down i'm going to use the wacom to change the width of the brush you can use the square brackets on the keyboard to do that we're going to capture this bit of the nose here and this has a, a thinning effect particularly if the models have large or irregular shaped noses this lady doesn't but it, it still works well for defining the nose area okay so that's one area i think we'll create another layer and going to make the width for the brush a little bit bigger and just go around here, we'll change that to multiply again. We'll just accentuate the edges. So there they have dotted lines on the reference image. So the makeup artist, but they would be smearing them and we're using a different technique. So they're the dark areas. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna mimic these light areas. So once again, new layer. This time it's gonna be soft light and if you have a brush active, if you're using a mouse, hold down Alt and then click. In this instance, I've got a hotkey set up on the actual uh, pen itself. And we're going to mimic the areas that we can see for enhancing. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to, I'm going to turn it to normal so I can see it better. And we're just going to draw upwards. It's not going to look 100% like your reference. But that's fine, that's not a problem. Okay, that's that done. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna switch around to eraser just to taper that back just a little bit. So with the eraser, I'm gonna make it nice and big. I'm just gonna inch backwards just to eat back so it's not so stark. I think I'm gonna keep it for the same layer now and gonna capture this area here similar to the reference picks once again 
Different faces will require different shapes. Now, I don't profess to being an expert. I'm not a, um, a retouch expert. I'm not a makeup artist, so I'm just doing this on experimentation and guesswork. I'm sure with more time, uh, you guys will be able to do a better job of this than I am. So, this is just the overriding principles to give you ideas and then you can take it to the next level and make it even better than the example. So that's one layer there. I think for a separate one, this nose area may be a bit smaller on the brush. And that will do it for now. So we have these rough blocks in areas. Now for the first one, uh, multiply, let's just see, that's the cheek areas. We can go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And you push that forward. And this will dissipate and taper the multiply effect in. As if it was being smudged in the makeup. So that one, okay. Give that a second to load. And then the next one, underside of the chin. We'll blur that again. So the reason these are on different layers is you might need different intensity blurs for each one. So let's just go for this one, down a bit, up a bit, let's see. Okay. About that value there, we'll hit OK. And any one of these, you can always use the eraser if you didn't want it on the underside of the chin. We'll just do that, just for argument's sake. So eraser there, bring the brush size down. I'm using the uh, strip pad on the Wacom. You can use the square brackets if you're using a mouse. Just bring it back a tiny notch. Okay, we're moving on now to this area, which will require a bit less of a, a blur. So, blur, blur, Gaussian blur, and we'll check the values. Let's take that forward. Maybe that, and then we'll reduce the opacity. I'm just going to hide the, um, well, we'll tweak that afterwards. For now, we'll just move up and blur each one. So this is the top of the head to accentuate the head area. So again, the same process, filter blur. This one, a bit more, definitely a bit more. And then that will do it. And then we should be moving on to the highlight areas now. You can name these, it can be useful to name these. So this is normal. We're now going to change that to soft light because we've done the laying down part of the process. So we're going to blur this, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And let's just see how this looks. Bring the values up. About there works fine, no problem. And then for this last one, let's just see what we got here. That's the bridge of the nose. We're going to change that to soft light. And maybe does it does it even need blurring we'll just reduce the opacity a bit that's fine now one of these i think will be the ridge of the nose what we're going to do now is we're just going to zoom in and we're going to use the eraser just to remove some of this multiply in the middle of the nose just straighten that out just a bit And we'll take a look, we'll zoom out a bit, and then we'll go back in. Maybe what we'll do is we'll reduce the opacity on that so it's not too obtrusive. Okay, uh, that value is okay. And this one here, let's see. That, that one's okay, that one's not too bad. Cheeks, maybe they can come in a bit, maybe not. And then the soft light layer here, you can tweak that and get the values to look how you want. Now, because this is in a layer group, um, we can hide and show that all in one go to see before and after. So before and after, um, I have some, let's have a look, some little edits here that I'm just gonna move down. Just tiny edits, this is just some uh, eye brightening and skin smoothing. These are techniques that I cover on surrealpsd.com. 
Again, I don't profess to being a retouch artist. All I do is experimentation and see what works and what doesn't. So uh, a bit of skin smoothing, not a lot. And the eyes being brightened just a touch. So we'll group those together now. Um, holding down Command and clicking the other one and then going Command and G. We'll group that all together. And what we'll do is we'll do a before and after shot. So here is before and there is after. And only in a few moments of work. So if you put your time into this, you can get some really refined kind of um, glossy studio type shots from... If you start with a high-res uh, photo that you've taken at home and you want to stylize it and make it a bit more fashion oriented then this is a great processing technique based on traditional makeup uh, contour face shaping techniques so i hope you enjoyed that guys lots more coming soon uh, for more tutorials check out surrealpsd.com i'll see you later guys take care